Hello everyone. In today's video lecture, we'll discuss two modes, mode X and mode W, and we'll also see how we can write to a file using write lines function. What is the basic difference between these two modes? Well, these two modes can be used to create a new file, but the main difference is if I'm using mode X, it will create a new file exclusively, so that file should not be pre-existing. And if I'm using mode W, if file is not existing, it will create a file. If it is already existing, it will overwrite the contents of the file. So let's see how it works. So this is the file that we were working on, myfile.txt, and this file is already existing. So to create a new file, first I'll show you how modex works. I'm using modex here, and since the file is already existing, so, if I run this file, it will show an error. It says file exists, right? And see, this file is already existing and I have written contents in it. Well, actually, that doesn't really matter if you have written the content. Once you have created a file, it will just show an error that this file is already existing. So, you can't create the file with that name. Now, if I make use of W here, since the file is already there, and if I use more W, it will overwrite the contents of the file. If I write, try to write anything inside the file. So, what I'll do, I'll put this statement in comments. And instead of using myfile.txt, I'll use newfile.txt here. I'll save it. And now if I run this file, it will not show an error. And now since that file is already existing, because we have created it, this file, this new file, so it is existing. So if I use w here, this will not make any difference. No error. Because it doesn't matter if file is already existing or we're creating a new file. But if I use mode X here, it will show an error because file is already existing. New file.txt. Okay. This is the main difference between mode X and mode W. I'm going to use mode W to write into my new file. And for writing to, an, to my new file, I'm going to use write lines function. And how this function works, instead of giving only strings here, I have to give a sequence. So you can give sequence inside the brackets, or you can just create a sequence. Sequence should be any iterable. So I can use a list or a tuple. I'm going to use a list here. So inside this, I'll write hi, new line character, how are you, new line character, I am doing good. And inside these brackets, I'll give this sequence. Okay. I'll execute it. And now let us see the contents of our new file. As you can see, these are the contents of our new file. And instead of giving this whole thing, I mean, creating a sequence first, you can do one more thing. You can copy paste this whole line and write it inside here as a list. This is it for today's lecture. We'll see you in the next video lecture. Take care.